and widescreen we'll leave that off honestly like i tried playing killzone in widescreen and it was nice but at the same time i uh i don't know ps2 to me it was just meant to be four by three you know it feels better four by three Let's go ahead and then switch back over to the game view, though. Oh, I need to update what game we're playing. We are playing, what did I say it was? Fight Night 2004. And update the category. Fight Night 2004. That's the one. Hit done. Awesome. Okay. So... We got some options here. I don't think we're gonna change any of the options really. We could turn um the difficulty down to medium, but I think we'll just leave it all the way it is. File name, we are stream if it actually lets us give it a name. Noodle serious question. Do I get a Barbie pet rescue too or do I wait? She was doing some stuff, so I'm not sure how much attention she's playing or paying, but hopefully by saying Mr. Noodle a couple times, uh, she'll hear us and take a look at chat. <laughs> okay, Mr. Noodle, we have a question for you. Rue needs to know if he's getting a Barbie pet rescue too, or if they're just waiting. Uh, control, save, load. I'm the menu. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Like the little tiny play and the big online, the big career, the little mode. I, I it feels a little, a little odd, a little off. <laughs> I don't know. Are you hoping he would stream it? Newt, <laughs> think you should go for it. I'm in. I'm in Mr. Noodles camp here. I think you should. I think you should go for it. You're going to sheets. Why? Why do you got to bring that up every night, Nate? <laughs> Is it just your goal to make Mr. Noodle hate me? Is that what you're going for? Because it's working so far. <laughs> you're here just playing a phone game? Yeah, Mr. Noodle loves this uh, cat game. What's it called, Noodle? I bet you I bet you anything that's what she's playing if she's playing a phone game. Whatever that little cat game is. Uh, we'll, be, we'll be heavyweight. Why not? I don't... I'm probably not going to know any of these guys. So I do actually kind of enjoy boxing, but I don't watch that much. Just every now and then. A snack wrap. I don't hate you. I got lots of presents for you, sir. She did. She did give me a lot of stuff. I'm excited for my birthday here in a bit. In a bit, I mean a couple weeks. <laughs> I think it's called Cat Game. That sounds right. God's sakes, what rap you like, Mr. Noodle? You don't have to buy her a rap. <laughs> Rocky Marcino, Ken Norton. Yeah, it's called Cat Game. James Tony. Uh, I mean, I, I recognize Muhammad Ali. So uh, <laughs> I guess we'll go for that. Hollyfield, Roy Jones C Jr.? Roy Jones Jr. That seems, seems like a good mix. Sure. Not hungry right now, Nate. It was pizza night. It'll be your birthday present, sir. <laughs> I appreciate that, Nate. That was a uh, that that was a, a good idea. But yeah, we did actually just get done eating pizza right before the uh, the the stream started. We do it every Friday. That's our our Friday ritual is having pizza night. So R one to show controls. That's nice. So we can lean with L one, block with R one, do our signature punch with R two, and the illegal punch with L two. Taunt also does the illegal punch. Signature punch, taunt. I'm going to forget this. So all we really need to know is X is signature, square is taunt. No. Yeah. X is signature, square is taunt. Is there no just regular punch? Total punch control is with the right. Oh, okay. And R1's, well, I'm going to forget all of this in like three seconds. A very healthy ritual? Yes, it is. <laughs> the grand ballroom? Hell yeah. That's where we're fighting at. Going to get your energy drink? Also a very healthy uh, ritual. <laughs> okay, so use right analog stick to throw punches. Left straight, right straight, right hook, right uppercut. I'm going to forget everything. Hold L1 to do a body punch. 
Oh man, we're so screwed. <laughs> we're so screwed. Nice. Process faster, PayPal. Hurry, PayPal. <laughs> you ordering your uh, your uh, your Barbie plug and play? Word, my words. It's not health; it's addiction. <laughs> I I've been in your shoes, Nate. I feel your pain. Twenty-one bucks, all said and done. That's not bad at all. Try the newer white pineapple monster. If I still drink that much caffeine, I, I, Mr. Noodle and I were just talking about this earlier, actually. I consume small amounts of caffeine, but it's always in like the form of chocolate. <laughs> so, but I don't, I don't drink like energy drinks or anything anymore, both because of the sugar and that much caffeine is not good for my anxiety. So small amounts are good, but I've also been addicted like hardcore to caffeine once and then pretty bad a second time so it's probably for the best if i don't start drinking too much caffeine again you actually hate caffeine you don't drink energy drinks or coffee or anything that's me now but like when i was younger i i, I drank it a lot because you know i stayed up constantly um and then i broke that addiction it was hell but i got off of it and then work just being too stressful and tired all the time, I slowly got back into it and then got addicted to it again. But then my anxiety and panic disorders got really bad. So uh, I had to quit it basically because if I drank more than, you know, a, a can of pop or whatever, I would start to, my heart would start to raise, the, the, the anxiety would start to well up and whatnot. So I just pretty much had to quit. And now, like I said, I, the, I only really have caffeine and like chocolate or, um, I mean, I guess that's really it, but maybe like a, a, a drink of tea or something, but even that's rare. Okay, so R1's block. Am I blocking? I guess I'm blocking. And then hold L1 to do a body shot. Oh, oh, we just, we just smacked that dude in the face. How do we, okay, so we can, we can block in different ways by holding R1 and then... How do we, how do we, how do we hit in the body? So it said, hold L1. Oh, okay. Oh, dude. This dude's gonna, this dude's gonna get us. Ah. <laughs> I have no idea how this, the controls for here just feel so weird. Like, I understand what they're trying to do. But, like, it feels weird. Why can I not punch in the body? Like, you know what I mean? Like. How do I how do I hug the other guy? If you watch like any of the Jake Paul or Logan Paul, whoever the hell it is, whichever idiot, that's like half of the freaking matches. How do I I want to punch the body? Punch the body. <laughs> I just smacked him twice in the head. <laughs> oh, oh. Gotta get him. So we gotta like circle it down in different ways or something. This is not going well. Ah, <laughs> uh, what the hell? I just headbutt him. <laughs> We're definitely gonna lose this match. Like, there's, there's no, 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 uh, no way around it. Like, we, we lost, man. So we got to like circle it up around. You can't just like hit a direction. You got to actually circle it. That's weird. I don't like it. It feels weird, man. What's the number one up there? Is that like one minute remaining or something? No. There's 30 seconds remaining. Ah. What you leaning for? Oh, yeah, see, I can lean these, too. See, look at this. Leaning all over the place. What you know about that lean, huh? Oh, get him. I just want, like, I just want to hit the freaking square button to punch. <laughs> Should have tried that Raspberry Lemonade Mountain Dew stream. It was so good. I've heard that it's pretty good. I do... I don't know. I kind of want to try it, but at the same time, there's so much sugar in it, too. And I don't actually like Mountain Dew. 
I, I, that was my main pop, my main caffeine source there for a long time. But the last time I quit pop and sugar and whatnot completely, I tried Mountain Dew after a year or two and I hated it. But for some reason I kept drinking it like a dummy and, <laughs> and then that slowly became like the only thing I drank. More of a coffee person than energy drink. Yeah, she is. Honestly, you did want to start trying drinking caffeine. You'd prefer coffee just because you find the smell of energy drinks killer on your nose. I drank both. <laughs> Whenever I was drinking caffeine, I drank a crap ton of, of coffee and energy drinks. I had a uh, espresso machine. I really, really liked the espresso machine. Homemade cappuccinos were my jam, man. That was by and like a far amount my favorite my favorite way to drink coffee i'm just like not mashing but just like spinning the stick around randomly because i have no idea what the heck i'm doing <laughs> i am so lost here oh not like not that i don't know what's going on just like in this control scheme like i'm trying to move away and for some reason i'm just like circling around the dude instead of actually moving just away and every time i try to do a body shot it just doesn't want to punch or i'll punch high when i'm trying to punch low like i just i don't understand the controls at all it's bad I'm sure, like, for people that play Fight Night games all the time, it probably makes perfect sense. But for me, it makes no sense at all. Like, I am... Uh... Just freaking jab, man. I just want to jab. Just headbutt him. <laughs> Ice coffee is where it's at. Coffee is great, too hard on your belly nowadays yeah i got used to it with the coffee like whenever i first started drinking coffee it was pretty rough on my stomach you know a lot of trips to the bathroom but after drinking it for long enough i just i started to get used to it like it wasn't that big of a deal anymore i'm kind of hoping we get knocked out just because i i want the pain and suffering to end here <laughs> like <laughs> do we just do we just hit him in the back of the head how did that happen Oh, oh. There's the bell. What you still swinging for, man? The bell rang. Rude. <laughs> hey, don't highlight that. Nobody saw that. I tripped. I didn't try to headbutt him. Y'all didn't see nothing. Total special punches. Thrown 30, landed 6. Thrown 1, landed 0 on the other guy. This clown ain't good enough to be your sparring partner. It's your fight. That dude really likes uppercuts, huh? If I knew how to actually do an uppercut, maybe I would do them more. Oh, wait. Up is how we jab? That's weird. That's not what I expected. Okay, so if up is jab, does that mean up here is a body jab? It is. Then what's down do? Nothing. Left does... Nothing. Well, it kind of does a jab, I guess. Down into the right? Basically nothing. Alright. Do I have a farther reach than him, I wonder? Because I feel like... <laughs> I'm just jabbing him in the face repeatedly. He's just taking it. Come on, bring it in here. There you go, take it. Jones Jr., what you got now, boy? I'm starting to learn how to play the game, kinda. Just barely, but like. Ah. Uh. Okay, I, I'm guessing the blue bars are stamina, so I, I think we're running out of stamina. The reds are health, and in that regard, we are losing spectacularly. The other dude, he's got more than us overall, but. Like, I don't know. I feel like that's not that big of a deal, though. Uh, we probably need to block a little bit every now and then. 
drank coffee from the age of 20 or 5 to 23 regularly. Slowed down a couple years back and basically stopped altogether when you started cutting out sugar from your drinks. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't drink coffee. I mean, like I had it a few times when I was that young, but like it wasn't a regular thing for me until later in life. Um, but we grew up with like coffee always being in the house because my mom was a heavy coffee drinker. Drinker. So, like, I mean, it was always around. And I, I drank it from time to time, but it wasn't a regular occurrence until probably, like, 12-ish, give or take. Uh, move analog sticks to... Oh. So there's, like, multiple versions of him, and we have to line them all up? Uh, okay. We got it. We got it. Barely. <laughs> Alright, Jones Jr. Get in here, boy. What you got? You ain't got nothing on Ali. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee, all that, you know? Uh, I'm trying to block, but it's not going so well. Hey, we finally got a good hit in. <laughs> if I was like the first time you had coffee, was an everyday drinker by like 9 or 10. Still pretty early, I feel like. Ah, oh, look at that. That dude's good. A lot better than me. <laughs> he's gonna win this one even if we don't like get a knockout he's definitely gonna win this one all right now don't blow your 69 percent nice total punches so that dude's thrown a lot more punches and hit a lot more punches oh yeah way to start that out just with a freaking special punch to nowhere How do we how do we uppercut this dude? Like <laughs> just freaking uh, just circling the freaking stick around because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm sure it is. Like I don't think it's as common these days, I don't think. But like I said, I hardly watch boxing anymore. Um watched it a little bit more growing up just because my uh, my mom's ex-husband liked to watch it. My stepdad liked to watch it. But uh, these days, I really only watch, like, celebrity matches. And uh, mostly, it's usually just whenever, like, Jake or Logan Paul, whichever one it is, I'm terrible with names, is playing uh, or is fighting because I just want to see him get his ass kicked, honestly. <laughs> like, more than anything. <laughs> but yeah, and I think it's because it's traditionally a male sport. So, you know, that's... Just, how dudes are. They they, they want to see the women in the skimpy outfits and two dudes beating the crap out of each other. <laughs> One, two, uh, okay, so three, where's four, the images at? Five, six, We're pretty close. Seven, that one's good. Eight. There we go. Got it. Honestly, the one real thing you watch is Rhea Ripley because holy crap, I love her. I'm not sure who she is. I'll have to look her up. Oh yeah, you gotta you gotta block your face, bro. I'm just gonna keep gonna keep hitting you in the face there, man. You ain't got that reach. Wrestler and you love her aesthetic. I did like watching wrestling a lot when I was younger. WWE. I loved that, but I stopped watching for a little while. I don't remember why exactly. I I may have moved out from where I was living and didn't have cable anymore. That sounds right, but I can't remember for sure. Um and then I tried to get back into it like a year or two later. And by then, though, the uh, I, I couldn't follow like any of the storylines because it had been so long since I since I had really watched it. Oh, jeez! No, we're about to go out again. I'm trying to block. <laughs> I'm using the wrong stick. R1, and then we gotta use the right stick. Oh. Yeah, the controls on this one are tough. <laughs> Honestly, though, like, even if I took it down to easy, I don't know if we'd be doing any better. Because I think most of the problem is just I have no idea what the hell I'm doing, like, how to control the game. <laughs> You're 
this thing. Hey, this guy hey we did better with jabs than he did this that time around, though. So, you know, that's a little bit better, right? Counter punches in round. I don't know how to do a counter punch. So the fact that I did five is a little bit surprising, to be honest. But hey. Bro, trainer, dude, give us a break. <laughs> We're trying our best. Like, we're getting some nice jabs in, but, like, I need to figure out how to do uppercuts and stuff. But he's got his whole special punch thing. But, like, the dude seems to know when that's coming. It, it is telegraphed pretty well, <laughs> which in boxing, telegraphing is not a good thing, so. <laughs> it's not like a video game, right? You don't want the, the other guy to know that you're about to do something or what it is you're about to do. Yeah, we can both just lean away like that. There we go. Get him with the, the signature move. How do we... Okay, so what? If we come down and around, we do a body punch. That doesn't seem to be too consistent, though. <laughs> and what you booing me for? One little headbutt? Come on, I tripped, man. Ah, oh, crap. There's gotta be, there's gotta be an upper punch. An upper punch, an uppercut. It's just like, there's so many, <laughs> I did it again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I was just hitting the different L buttons. Like L1, R1, the different trigger buttons, I mean. Find a way to do a cheap combo, I don't know how. I'm trying. Oh, we're gonna go down again. Th this is it. Oh man, yep, yep. I think it's I think it's GG here. Oh no, that was close. There it is. There it is. Down. Are we gonna be able to save it? <laughs> Look at them graphics though, man. You can totally tell that's Muhammad Ali, right? Like <laughs> I love whenever he goes down, the way he just kind of goes limp and his face just kind of shakes around a little bit. Looks hilarious. Aw, oh, not even close. I feel like, honestly, it might be a little too easy getting up. But every time we go down, we're losing more and more health, so... Like, I guess in the long run, it'll probably get uh, significantly harder. Or if we just run out of health completely, and then I imagine it's a, a force knockdown at that point. Get that nice punch in after the bell. There we go. Yeah, focus on that. Just jabbing the crap out of that dude. Although he's getting like some strong body uh, shots in whenever I was going in for them jabs. So probably not worth it, to be honest. Man, you've taken some punishment tonight. All right, my accuracy isn't quite as good as the other dude, but it's not terrible. Total counter punches. I did more that time apparently, but I still don't really know how to do counter punches, so <laughs> I'm just kind of doing stuff and hoping for the best. And uh, so far, it's not working out. Surprise, surprise. I, I want to hit him in the body is what I want to do. Let me hit him in the body. Holy crap. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though. As much as I hate the Paul brothers, the dude's not terrible at boxing. I do want to see him go against an actual boxer at some point. He fought an MMA fighter, a, a championship MMA fighter, but he fought him boxing, not an MMA. And uh, he beat him both times, fair and square. Although I don't think he should have won the first match. He definitely won the second. Unless it was rigged, but I, I don't actually think it was. Um... But yeah, I would love to see him go against an actual boxer at some point. Oh, crap. Okay, yeah, like, it's not going together at this point. Yep, yep, that's it. <laughs> like, it was it was really hard to move the, the, the double images there. All right, that was relatively short. We might try one more match of this before we wrap it up for the night. Although it is already 1.30. 
How long have we actually been going with the with this game? Not all that long has it. Nah, it's only been like 25 minutes. I believe in you. Uh, Y'all are a little late. I done died. <laughs> I do too. I would love to see him get beat. I forget which one it was, but you really hate the one who was an idiot in the Japanese wars. Yeah, I don't remember which one that was either, but honestly, I, I also hate both of them. So, <laughs> wow, I'm surprised we got scored as high as we did. Like 99886, I'm honestly kind of surprised. I would have expected lower scores for us there because that was not good. <laughs> Logan was the Japanese forest one. And then Nate said Jake. So, <laughs> I don't, hmm. Jake was the Team 10 house thing. Both are trash is what we can all agree on. Career mode, my corner. What's my corner? We can create our own boxer, record books. Uh, a lot of online stuff for these old sports titles, man. 2004, that was what, only a couple years after the PS2 came out, right? And they were already doing sports online. PS2 release date. Yeah, March 4th, 2000. So I mean, four years afterwards, but. And that was in Japan. It came out in America when? I feel, I know I've looked this up before, but. Oh, later that same year. Also 2000, yeah. Just in October, not whatever it was in Japan, March. You really hate YouTube for that? It took them three days to take that down. And even then, I think it was the one who took it down, not YouTube. Like, who's dumb enough to film a dead body? Honestly, like, it's just incredibly disrespectful on on his part and then like you said the fact that youtube just left it up that entire time is insane too let's try let's try fighting a couple little guys why don't we huh i i, I mean i don't recognize any of these guys but why not rafael juan manuel eric morales marco antonio Derek gainer sure we'll be we'll be Derek gainer why not? We're definitely not going to fight a, a heavyweight dude, though. That sounds like a bad time. <laughs> Pro Brothers like shock value? Yeah, I mean, shock value gets views. I understand why they like shock value, but it's still trash. Hey, Mr. Noodle, thank you for the five-bit cheer again, love. You've been going hard with the cheers lately, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. You just like watching all the little things fall in the cup in the bottom right. <laughs> It was probably because he had some YouTube Red Thing show at the time. Yeah, but even then, like, I don't know. Disrespectful. It's just a bad look for YouTube to leave it up that whole time. Can we can we watch them fight? That is an option. I'm not going to, because, you know, but got to catch up to Nate. <laughs> you hear that, Nate? She's coming for your top spot, man. <laughs> like I told you yesterday or the day before, whenever it was, Doodle, you'll always be the number one bit tipper in my heart so you never even see the cup thing well i mean yeah you do usually watch on your phone and i have it pretty small down in the bottom right hand corner so <laughs> all right so up into the left is left straight right straight and then bottom left corner and circle up around what man why couldn't they just have buttons for this stuff <laughs> like I feel like buttons would have been so much easier to, to deal with, at least for my, you know, two brain cells here. This just shows YouTube only cares about... I didn't get to see the rest of the matches. Holy crap, this dude's got some stamina here. He's just going crazy with it. What the... What is that? <laughs> what kind of special punch was that? That's just... He telegraphed that for like 20 minutes, man. Not literally, obviously, but like. Oh, we actually hit him with it. <laughs> I'm surprised we hit it. I guess like he's not just telegraphing it. He's technically dodging. So like. Okay, the guy's catching on already, though. Okay, I'm trying to do special moves. I'm trying. Just do, just do a jab. Just for Christ's sake, jab, please. 
Yeah, no, he, he caught on quick to the special punch. Oh, man, we're going to go down already. We've taken a lot of hits. Marquez hasn't taken, like, any. Gainer is 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 not doing too well here. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, he, he sees it coming from, from a mile away at this point. I feel like we haven't taken that many hits to have lost this much damage. I guess maybe the featherweight guys just don't have quite as much stamina or quite as much uh, endurance, I guess. Not stamina, really, but... I wish I could consistently do body shots, like... But I, I can't. I just can't do it. I, I don't understand the system well enough, I guess. Probably the biggest channels at the time. I mean, even if they were, though, I agree with Rue. Like, they filmed a dead body. Like, and not just any dead body. Like, you know, one under those tragic circumstances. And they just filmed it, like, and showed it on YouTube. Especially considering, like, their main audience is kids, too. So then, like, showing that to a bunch of kids is basically what they did. Like... It's terrible. Uh, there we go. That forest is known as the blank forest too. I don't need YouTube messaging me anymore. <laughs> At some point, it's like not a single person was like, hmm, maybe this is a bad idea. Honestly, like, it makes me wonder. I don't know much about like how their their system works, but like, I like, is it just the Paul brother? Do they? I'm sure they have editors, right? But outside of that, do they have, like, a production team that checks out their content before it goes up? Or is it just, like, them and an editor, you know? Because, I, yeah, you feel like somebody would have had to, somewhere along the line, say, Hey, this is a bad idea. Maybe we shouldn't freaking post this. But as we said, profits is all that counts. Now, I guess, but it shouldn't be that way. <laughs> That's why I use ad blocker and said, YouTube is my main form of... Um, entertainment and I watch it a lot on TV I could technically set up like a, a house wide ad blocker or something but yeah I don't I don't use ad blocker anymore I did for a while but I pay for YouTube premium there are also a couple of YouTube premium shows that I like from like different education channels and stuff like that um, ASAP is it ASAP science no it's not ASAP science I forget the name of the channel, but these one guys did, like, an off-grid show, which is really cool. Vsauce did a YouTube Red show, which was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that one. And I, there's more, too. I just I can't think of. Oh, man. He, he, they catch on quick to the, to the special moves. They were disrespectful their whole trip. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much what I heard. I didn't watch any of the videos because I've never cared for them or their content. But, uh... But from, like, the, the different people I saw talking about it in articles I saw and whatnot, yeah. They were just being dicks the whole time. They were bothering the whole population. Like, people from Japan love it when tourists embrace their culture, but they gave us a bad example. Yeah. True, true. Pretty sure they had managers. Yeah, so, like, it's just, it's hard to believe that a manager wouldn't see that and just be like, yo, maybe this is a bad idea. But I guess, honestly, like, it was just more for shock than anything, you know? Like y'all said. Just get get all those articles writing about them, and then once the articles are writing about them, then... Then, uh... Oh, he got me. <laughs> then more people will click on the videos. No press is bad press, or whatever they say, you know? Not sure I really... Uh, <laughs> subscribe to that theory myself, but One, two, three, uh, it's kind of hard to tell. All right, right is right. This one needs to go. There we go. Got it. Yeah, you'd read an article on it. That's what I I, I can't remember where I I saw it at, but I'm I'm sure it was like something from my Google News feed or something like that. At some point. I, I, I think I would have fun with this game as like a multiplayer game, couch co-op with my friends or something like that. Just because we would like just get mad at each other, just freaking 
throwing ridiculous non-stop jabs at each other is, is what I feel like it would end up devolving into, honestly. At least that's what it would be for me, because I, I'm not getting this down at all. Like, even a little bit. Now Logan likes to open Pokemon cards, and you think he's still boxing, and Jake is trying to make a career in boxing? I don't know. The... I... So was it... Was it Jake that I watched the past couple times then? I don't know about Logan, if he's still boxing or not. I haven't heard anything of his matches, at least. And... I mean, opening Pokemon cards is a lot better than what they were doing before. It just sucks that it caused such a shortage in Pokemon cards, right? Because all them little kids and shit were buying them up. Because, you know, the Paul brothers did it, so now they gotta do it. They raped, reaped what they sowed. Sown? <laughs> I'm pretty sure people still watch them, but they had the whole Japanese government on them, so that basically killed their careers. Yeah, I mean, they're both still really big, though, right? They just had to do... They just had to switch it up. They couldn't do the whole vlogging thing as much anymore. Well, now they do you know, Pokemon cards right, and boxing and crap. Jake has pretty much that, left YouTube entirely. Soon, okay? I mean, like I said, I gotta give it to the guy. He is a pretty decent boxer. I just... I am curious to see how he would be against a real boxer, though. But... And it's so much fun watching him get the crap beat out of him. <laughs> After all the, the BS that he's pulled over the years. There are many better Pokemon creators out there. Oh, I, I agree completely. If anybody wants to watch a, a legitimately, as far as I can tell, good person open Pokemon cards, Leon Hart, man. Leon Hart is amazing. He does a lot of cool stuff for charity. His, his channel's always family-friendly. He gives away Pokemon cards and stuff all the time. He's entertaining. Like, he, if you want to watch somebody do Pokemon cards, that's who I would suggest. And then, I mean, if you just want to watch people play Pokemon, there's, you know, hundreds of them. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I agree. There's definitely better people than the Paul brothers in that regard. One after the other. Gainers having trouble out there. Wasn't one of them in the news a while back because a bunch of weapons were found in their home? I honestly don't know. If, if that did happen, I didn't hear anything about it. But it's perfectly reasonable to believe I just missed it because I, <laughs> I don't follow them in the news at all. So you think that was Jake? I mean, the thing is, though, technically, unless he has some sort of trouble with the law in the past, like it's not illegal to have the weapons in his house, though, right? Leon Art, yeah, that's exactly who I was talking about. Yep. Love Leon Art, man. He's a uh, voice actor, too, which is just kind of neat because, you know, I like anime and whatnot. I hardly ever watch anime in English, but still. I think that was Jake. Pokin. Poke. Pokinate. Poknate. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I know there's more of them. I just can't really think of a whole lot of them off the top of my head. I watch a, a dude called Patters every now and then. Um, but I haven't been watching a whole lot of Pokemon content myself recently. Real Breaking Nate? Are, are these just all of your secret channels? Pokenate, Real Breaking Nate. <laughs> if we don't end up getting knocked out entirely this round, I'm going to be pretty surprised. We went down, what, twice? Three times? I think, I think this might be it. <laughs> course it would be honestly as much as i really shouldn't say this i don't think those two should be allowed to have a presence should just disappear <laughs> i mean online i pretty much agree yeah i don't i don't think they need to be uh role models for any kids out there or anything you know oh yeah no it's getting it's getting to that point to where like it's really hard to move these things around i can't i can't even tell which one's the real one that's it <laughs> that's it he did a collab with Leon Art. Oh, okay. Okay. I, I'm still... Headcanon is still just that secretly your your YouTube channels that you run. And uh, <laughs> you just don't want anybody to know it was you. You personally like A-Drive or Manned J? I don't know those ones either. Are those Poketubers? Real Breaking Nate was who I was thinking of when you put Poketubers. Oh, okay, okay.
Yeah, so somehow our second game that we played, our second match that we played, we did much worse. <laughs> so, GG. But that's all right. I, I didn't plan on spending too, too much time on this game anyways. One, because it's getting late, and two, because, I mean, I'm not a sports game guy. What game should we play next? So, Saturday and Sunday. Tomorrow night and the night after, I'm gonna be chilling. I might play something Sunday night just for shits and giggles, but it won't actually be anything for the PS2 gauntlet. It'll, uh, or, I mean, it won't be Lord of the Rings. It'll probably be something for the PS2 gauntlet, is what I meant to say. But I haven't really decided what I want to play. We could do more boring stuff like World Poker Tour, <laughs> um, or we could we could switch it up and try something else out. Let me let me pull up my list here. What do we have that would be fun to play? I mean, I'm partial to playing Kingdom Hearts, but as soon as I play Kingdom Hearts, I'm gonna want to beat Kingdom Hearts. So, is your birthday tomorrow? No, my birthday's on the uh, the fifteenth. So I probably i I might do a birthday stream. It depends. I'm also going camping. I'm taking a camping trip for my birthday. So it depends exactly what day I end up going camping and whatnot. But still got a, uh, a little over a week. Oh, no. <laughs> no, my birthday's not tomorrow, Rue. <laughs> a little bit farther. <laughs> a little bit later. Not not quite yet. But thank you. Thank you, Rue. I appreciate it. Mr. Noodle was terrible at keeping gift secrets. And yeah, she, she loves giving them out early. <laughs> All right, so games that I own but haven't played yet. Final Fantasy Dirge of Cerberus would be pretty fun. Uh, God of War 2, we could do that. Guitar Hero, I don't know if I'm going to stream those or not because, you know, they're copywritten left and right. Uh, we could try a Ben 10 game. That might not be too bad. I've wanted to try the Chronicles of Narnia games, but I don't know what kind of games they are, but I have been wanting to play them. Dawn of Mana is awesome. I haven't actually played it, but I, I know the series is awesome. The other games. Uh, we got Grand Theft Auto, um, Lego Star Wars. That could be fun. Lego games are fun. There, This game here I'm pretty excited to play, but I want to do it when I have a little bit more time to play. Um, Metropolis Mania. It looks like a SimCity game, but it's uh, made by a different company, Natsume. The people who um, make the Harvest Moon games, or used to make the Harvest Moon games at least. Or published them. I, I, they didn't make them, but yeah, whatever. God, I might miss that stream. You can't play Kingdom Hearts until you know if Terra dies or get freed. <laughs> well, uh, no worries. Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. Trying to remember. I don't think have Terra in it at all. So you don't really have to worry about that. May have snow for your trip and you get that all too well, Noodle. I uh, I hope I have snow for my trip, but I don't think it's going to happen, sadly. You vote God of War, Rue. Yeah, we could play God of War 2. We just played the other one not too long ago, but I do really like God of War, so. You always want to know what all my gifts, and you always want to give all the gifts I have. Yeah, she's a, she's a peeker. She likes to peek. <laughs> no, she has been doing really good about it lately, but Shreem likes when I have an advent calendar because it microdoses me. Yeah, I get her an advent calendar every year now, the past three years, because it, it just helps her. <laughs> I made the mistake of playing Birth by Sleep first. I mean, that's not technically a bad thing. I do think it's better to play them in release order than to play them in, like, chronological order. Um, just because then you know as much as kind of what the main characters know at any given time. Uh, but yeah. Is Xehanort in them, though? That's a hard question to answer. <laughs> it's a... <laughs> it's a very hard question to answer, Rue. The... <laughs> Story of Kingdom Hearts is a little bit convoluted. This is probably the only time you'll ever hear me say that. <laughs> um, so, kind of. That's all That's all I'm going to say there, I guess. Kind of, in them. You don't peek, but you like giving early. Wait, Hair McGee. Oh, I know who you're talking about. But it's just a very complicated question. <laughs> See, so you don't peek, but you like giving early. Oh, I beg for my gifts. She does. She's terrible. But I love her. And it's cute, so. Yeah. You hate that guy. Xehanort, I hope you disappear forever. <laughs> He's a cool character, in my opinion. 
uh, I despise him at the same time because, yeah, but, you know. Yeah, technically, technically he's not in Kingdom Hearts 1 or 2, if I remember correctly. But like I said, once you learn more of the story of Kingdom Hearts, it, it becomes kind of hard to answer that. But the, the guy you're thinking of, I don't think is in Kingdom Hearts 1 or 2, to the, to the best of my memory, which isn't amazing, to be honest. He's like Eisen from Bleach, fantastic villain, but gods, I hate him. Yeah, and I mean, that's kind of the mark of a good villain, right? That's like, uh, oh, what was that 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 young king's name from Game of Thrones? I despised him like no one else I've ever hated in my life. And, uh, <laughs> I mean, it just shows that he played it really well, but it also made me hate him so much. <laughs> Right, so we played NBA Live 09. I need to make sure to mark that down. Otherwise, I will forget. And then we also played Fight Night. A, B, C, D. Fight Night 2004. There it is. True. Joffrey, that's it. That's his name. Terrible. What's worse about Aizen is that the guy is damn attractive, too. <laughs> but you don't find Xehanort attractive? <laughs> God. Oh, Lord. Is that right? I can't tell. I don't know if it's spelled right, but his name was Joffrey, so. Tara, yes. Xehanort, no. <laughs> Mr. Noodle's partial to, uh... Oh, crap. What's his name? Birth by Sleep. Uh, main characters. There's Aqua, Terra, and Ventus. Mr. Noodle's partial to Ventus um, and Roxas because, you know, they look the same and they have the same voice actor, which is why she's partial to them <laughs> because she is in love with Jesse McCartney, the, the singer, and uh, that's who voices them. Yeah, Jesse McCartney, yep. Yep, Rue knows, Rue knows. <laughs> Mr. Noodle is in love. You still love his music? So does she. So does she. And uh, he was on, I don't know if you ever watched Ma Mass Singer. I'm not going to say what season he was on or anything like that. Because I don't want to, I don't want to spoil anything. But um, he he did very well. I, I really liked him when he was in Mass Singer. Every girl your age had a crush on him. <laughs> oh. Oh, you remember that? So wait, did you watch Mass Singer then, Rue? Because yeah, because I don't want to. I didn't want to spoil anything in case anybody plans on watching it someday. But you knew him from the first episode. She did the first time she heard his voice. She was like, "That's Jesse McCartney," and I, I pretty much agreed with her. I was like, "Ah, I mean, it could be someone else, but I'm pretty sure you're right because it, it did sound a lot like him, and he should have won." Well, there it goes. Way to, way to spoil it for everybody out there, Mister Noodle. <laughs> You've been watching it slowly, but you did spoil yourself. Also, go noodle. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of hard to with that that show. Like, if you're not keeping up with it, there's just spoilers everywhere. Um, at least whenever it was still relatively new. I haven't seen any spoilers for it in a while, but we also haven't watched it in a while. So maybe Google's like, oh, I guess they're not that interested in it anymore. I won't put up articles about it every other time we see it. We haven't watched them all yet. That's what I was just saying, Mr. Noodle. We'll watch it again soon. I imagine it's probably still on Hulu or whatever. The Duck Dynasty guy? I honestly don't even remember that one. I'm sure we saw it, but I, I don't remember it. <clears throat> Alright. My voice is starting to get worn out, and uh, I'm sure you guys are tired of staring at these two dudes, Derek Gaynor and Rafael Marquez. So, I think we're gonna we're gonna start signing it off here. It's all good. You won't get to watch it probably, and somehow you've avoided spoilers for the new Spider-Man. Yeah, besides like one or two memes that I'm not even sure were true. Besides that, I've avoided spoilers for that. I'm waiting for it to come out on uh, Blu-ray or whatever, and then I'll I'll pick it up. Yeah, you too, Rue. Thank you for being here, man. I appreciate it. I hope to see you in a couple of days when we play 
I mean, I think you were the only one that requested anything. So we'll probably we'll probably do either Kingdom Hearts or God of War 2. So you won't have to worry about any uh any Terra spoilers for Kingdom Hearts. And God of War 2 would be a lot of fun. I mean, it's one of my my favorite game series. So I'm I'm down for that for sure. But hell yeah, see you then. Yeah, I'll see you, Rue. Have a good night. Nate, Mr. Noodle, I'll see you guys. I mean, Mr. Noodle, I'll see you in just a few minutes. But Nate, I'll, I'll see you around, man. Be safe, especially with the weather slowly getting worse, Nate. Don't want anything to happen to you where you're out there door dashing, man. Now come get a gift. I'm coming, Mr. Noodle. I'm coming. Calm down. <laughs> Night, guys. Bye-bye. Full information. Now collect three cogs and get to the mine entrance.